Well, but also let's remember, you know, the Republicans keep re repeating this whole mantra that, well, you know, we're keeping our word to the American people because we said we were going to make cuts. But I guarantee you that Paul Ryan never said to people in his district, I'm going to make cuts by cutting 20,000 kids in Wisconsin off of Head Start. So part of it is our responsibility as citizens and voters to get them to explain to us what exactly are you going to cut, just as I think it's up to us now to keep the pressure on the president and on the Democrats to keep fighting, because I agree with you, there is a bit of a political cost. And I have just a slight tweak on what Rick was saying. I think the goal of the White House here is to be seen, we've heard this before, the adult in the room, right? That with all the squabbling going on on Capitol Hill, President Obama is the guy who's going to come in and say, look, let's just get something done. That's pretty much his personality. But at the same time, I would, and I don't really have a problem with that, as long as at the end of the day, we're all clear that there are fundamental things that we're going to fight for that we're not going to give up on. And that's where I think the question kind of comes. I think that's why a lot of progressives were so frustrated that it even got to the point that we got to on this last round of the budget discussion. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.